Can you hear the bass in that fucking chav thing in front? Yeah, man. Boom, 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 boom. So the girls know we've got big willies, innit? Let's get the fuck out of here. Are we filming? Yeah. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back. It is a beautiful Friday evening, and I've been off the bike for far too long. My uh, good old faithful BMW that I was talking about a while back has gone and blown the fucking head gasket. So I'm carless now, which is great. But it's been a relatively interesting week, so I thought I would uh, I'd tell you guys some stories. I thought I'd tell you about some stuff that I've been doing. First and foremost, just to get it out of the way, my Twitter got hacked. I've no idea how they managed to A, log into my account, then change the name of my account, then change the email address associated with the account, and then change the password of the account without me receiving an email at any time from Twitter to say, hmm, something fucky's going on here, something's, something's wrong. Somebody's logged into this account from a new location, most likely a fucking long way away from where I am. The chances of it being an island are pretty goddamn slim, let's be honest. There's like five people on the other bike, there's two of them, there's two of them on the bike, there's five, oh, someone's had a kid, there's six. That's not a kid, that's a fully grown small Asian woman. Never mind, they probably get that quite a lot. But you get my point, right? At no point did Twitter think, hmm, something's a bit fucky, let's email the guy. Even when the, whoever it was reset the password, you don't think Twitter would have thought, yeah, maybe we should send an email just to verify the, uh, the password reset. But nope, I didn't get shit. What else happened to me this week? Ow. Yeah, actually I've got two bathroom stories to tell you. Because I know you guys are just dying to know what I get up to in the bathroom. So I'll fucking tell you. Both of these happened at work. We have automatic lights in the toilets. Right, you walk in, light turns on. But they've been tweaked recently so that you have enough time now, or at least I do, to walk in, turn around, lock the door. I guess it's a combination of my ability to turn around quickly, coupled with my ability to whip out my dick in about half a second. So I'm stood there in the bathroom with my dick out in the pitch black. I can't see shit, I can't even see the bowl. I don't even know which way I'm facing. Uh, and as it turns out, I was pointing at the sink. So it's a good job I held it for a while before the light came on. The delay is just huge, man. It takes forever for the light to come on. Absolutely forever. So that was kind of annoying. And I've just realized actually it's three bathroom stories. So the day before this, uh, I've decided to try a box of briefs because I guess I wanted to know what it feels like to have somebody copying your balls all day that isn't me because it's normally me doing it so i went to the toilet and they've got this uh, flap for you to, to to whip your dick out right but the flap is sort of to one side so you kind of have to go in at an angle and then come come back on yourself ugh, come back on yourself to get your old chap out and flop him out the gap so i'm having a bit of trouble with this actually because it's fucking dark and i can't i can't get my dick out i can't find it so i actually said to myself Where's my penis? So two, two bathroom stories so far. One, I nearly pissed in the sink. Two, I couldn't find my penis. Now the third bathroom story is actually a little bit more embarrassing, but I'm gonna share it with you anyway. So the toilets at work, well, there's a little hallway and at the end of the hallway is the door to the toilets. Anyway, I'm feeling a little bit of pressure at the back door like you do, so I go to the toilet to drop the kids off. And uh, as I'm coming out, and wow, it was not pretty, by the way, I'll tell you that much. It smelled like something died in there. So, as I'm on my way out of the door, literally a good two feet in front of me, heading into the toilet, is the, the deaf guy in the studio. I said to him, well, dude, I've just done a poop. Trust me, you don't want to go in there, I'd leave it a while. He didn't hear me. So I said, no, I've, I've done a poop. You don't want to go in there, leave it for a while. He didn't hear me again. I don't know if he had his hearing aid turned off or something. So actually, I shouted pretty much at the guy. No, like, dude, I've, I've, I've done a poo. It stinks. I wouldn't go in there. <laughs> Bless him. He took it well. He had a good chuckle. And he turned around and he went to the other bathroom. It was only to my horror when I realized that I just shouted it at this deaf man. And uh, pretty much everybody heard. But yeah, whatever. I don't embarrass that easy. 
Shit happens, eh? Eh? See what I did there? Shit happens. Oh, that's, that's not a bad sunset, is it? That's quite, quite beautiful. Just looking for piercing places. Yeah, I know what you're all thinking. I'm just going to let you think it as well. Oh, you're going to pierce your penis. You're going to you're gonna do the old Prince Albert. You're going to put a ring in your bell end. No, fuck that, thanks. I don't fancy that at all. That sounds horrific. Uh, I also wanted to uh, apologise for not making the monkey meet this year. With the head gasket and the beamer going, I really can't afford any kind of expenditures at the moment, uh, which is a big shame, because I was really looking forward to it. I missed out last year, because I'd completely forgotten all about the fucking thing. After you fellas, let's follow these chaps for a little while, shall we? Uh, or not. I shouldn't follow any more young boys, to be honest, in the near future. I've been doing that way too much. Hi, right, buddy. The ferry? Yeah, I'll tell you what, follow me, I'm not going anywhere. All right? Yeah, just follow me. All right? So I'm going to decide to uh, tell these fellas about the YouTube channel, tell them to have a look and check themselves out. Uh, and I apologise in advance, actually, for saying that I was going to follow you two young gentlemen. Um, yeah, that's going to come off really, really weird. But uh, never mind, don't worry, you're safe. <laughs> you're safe. I did have some other shit that I was going to tell you, but I can't remember what it was. So, I lost my penis, I shouted at the deaf guy, my Twitter got hacked, I almost pissed in the sink. I'm pretty sure I covered all the, uh, the areas that I wanted to cover. Badger came out with a very good point there, she was like, are these fellas going to the car ferry or the passenger ferry? I thinking, ah, shit. I'm assuming the car ferry, because they've both got L plates, which means they can't take passengers, so they're not likely to be picking somebody up. And I don't think they're going to want to leave their bikes at the end of the pier. I don't, I don't know, I don't fucking, I'm just assuming that they mean the, uh, the car ferry. Beautiful. Whoa, that sounded the spuds. I take it you meant the car ferry. I take it you meant the car ferry. Yeah, we thought on the way over, shit, I hope we're not taking the wrong one. Yeah, just there, buddy. If you, uh, if you watch YouTube at all, Check out uh, youtube.com yeah. forward slash official SMO, S M O, all one word. Cool. Official SMO, S M O, okay, all yeah. one word. You'll be on the latest one, pal. All right, mate. Take all it right, easy. Mate. Have a good one. Ride safe. Okay. There's my good deed for the day done. So I think I'm going to have to go and rob a pensioner. Shouldn't have come this way because of the roadworks. Shit. Forgot about them. Oh, cheeky bastard! Oh, you are kidding me! Bastard. 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 Oh, that sounds the tits! Bastard. 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 Anyway. I guess that's pretty much all the bullshit that I want to spew at you guys. This time. Until next time, you guys have been awesome. Badger's been Badger. I've been Smo. Together we've been Smodger. Thank you for that one, Crumble. Peace.